Y'all know what I'm here for. Another makeup tutorial. This time I'm going to be telling my why. Because that's what I'm deciding to do. Three videos deep into my YouTube channel. Bear with me because if I'm explaining makeup and telling y'all about myself, good luck. I'm priming my eyelids with this Smashbox 24 hour photo finish primer. I've had this for like a year. You don't need a lot. It lasts forever. Revlon Color Stay Concealer in the color YS. <laughs> because I want something light on my eyelids. So that my colors that I put on my eyelids are like smudge this around and tell you all about my life. So, I'm a tomboy. The show. Like second through fourth grade was my prime tomboy years. Tease, little miniature palette, and this Anastasia Beverly Hills fluffy brush. As I was saying, real good friends with the boys. So I would always come home with holes in my knees because I was constantly playing in the grass and like just getting rough <laughs> with the boys on the playgrounds like ain't nothing stopping me modern renaissance palette if you don't have it you need it you need it going in with the shade whoa, warm taupe right here like just a warm brown it's probably why it's called warm tip. So around the time of being in the fifth grade, I had lost my uncle in a car accident. And I was at such a young age that I didn't know how to really process what was going on. It was, it was my first big loss. I just turned to food and that fucked me up. So I went to school with a lot of skinny girls, okay? was part of that big girl squad. Then I ended up not getting the attention that I wanted. It was just kind of like settling for the attention I was getting because some sort of attention felt better than no attention. So around these high school years, I was just kind of like, if I can't be skinny, I'm gonna be pretty, okay? I think this is a Smashbox pencil. I believe it is. Get Urban Decay palette, this one. I'm the color Buck. I just started doing makeup and kind of used that as my shelter. Eventually that grew to like, I, I just kept, I ended up feeling so much better about myself when I wore makeup and I would spend hours and hours watching makeup tutorials and like practicing my makeup and it really used to take me ever. This Maybelline Rock Nudes palette. It's this white color right here. Got good at makeup and just didn't really do anything about my weight. I played soccer and I was a goalkeeper and goalkeepers put on a whole shitload of work and a whole shitload of responsibility. So I would just like overeat because I was so nervous and once again hid my emotions. I'm going in with this brush that who knows where I got it. L'Oreal lacquer liner, this stuff, seriously. I can put it on, it'll be there the next day. As I was saying, you know, soccer games, getting rejected from boys, just kind of like dealing with those anniversaries of my loss, you know, not really knowing how to deal with my emotions. I think a lot of people thought I was confident at times, but I developed this look good, feel good motto through wearing makeup. Exactly almost a year ago, I had this like extreme anxiety attack and freaked out I couldn't stop crying and I just like felt like I was melting inside and I was just like, like super tingly it was just the weirdest thing ever I had anxiety all along and I just didn't know that I had this social anxiety I had no idea I like finally calmed down and then like this day I just had this epiphany this is what I'm gonna do this is how I'm gonna lose weight it was weird because I've known this information all along I've constantly like 
done my research like how to lose weight how to lose 30 pounds in three days type shit because i was so fucking desperate in high school i just didn't have the right mentality about how to lose weight or anything the freedom in college just caught up with me and i ended up coming back home to colorado it was the biggest i was ever at at a whopping two freaking fitty i lost 80 pounds in a year stopped handling my emotions through food. At first I started Shakeology, but that shit was expensive. So I switched to Herbalife, which is still fucking expensive. I lost like 30 pounds or something like that and then aggressively continued to lose weight, but it was just like slow and steady and then shit happened in my life. I fell off my freaking grind. And also I hit a plat too. Skirt. There's no other better feeling than just like bend over and do what I wanted and like strapping into your snowboard and your snow pants not being able to cut you in half. It was the best feeling ever to be able to just cruise down the mountain and like my weight not really affect me. I mean, I still, <laughs> still freaking fell, did a scorpion a time or two, but to be able to feel like I was like lighter on my board and could be able to do more and be able to run longer and be able to just like not be out of breath and <laughs> get out of the plus size and get down to size mediums like, has been such a blessing and like I can't be any more thankful for my self-discipline. So I've lost this weight and just continued to do my makeup. It's art and I'm such an artsy person. Math and science, no, no, mm, take that shit somewhere else. <laughs> Although I do actually really love science. I just found that like doing my makeup was just like art. I got to create something new every day. You can just do a makeup look for every single mood and every like event. And I think that's what I love about it is because you can be creative. And I think it is so important for everyone to be creative. And I was posting it on my Facebook the other day to like, Never let the kid in you die because that, I think that is just so important that we keep the creative juices flowing. My job, I don't know. <laughs> so, fuck. I seriously forgot how bright this lipstick color is, but you can get it at Sephora. Color number 36. It's pretty. It's pink. It's so freaking bright though. I need to put on my mascara, but this is pretty much the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look and this chit chatty get to know me. It's been real. As always, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and ain't nothing new. I'll see y'all next time. I do makeup for me and I don't do it for anyone else.